And, and we're recording. Hey, y'all. We are. We're, we're back. I know y'all missed us. I know y'all missed Kristen. I know y'all was like last week, Ebony lost her damn mind and was cussing for a good 35 minutes. But it's okay. <laughs> we're back. We we're back. We it's, back. Right. It's tatted and fluffy. We're here. And get used to it. <laughs> I can't do we're here. We're queer. Get used to it because we're not queer. So um, it has been a rough couple of weeks for us. One of us got the flu, got some kind of flu bug. One of us knee decided they it wanted to travel to places that it should not be. Jesus, take the wheel. T right, take the wheel, God. Just take it, because clearly we're it's it's too much. It's it's absolutely too much. So I guess we this is this is our the T segment. The T mm -hmm. for this week is uh, both Jacqueline Hill and Jeffrey Star have revealed their new launches that are to go on sale uh, tomorrow, the thirteenth, mm -hmm. and Friday. Go ahead, and Friday the twenty-first, uh, respectively. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Jeffrey Stars revealed his palette. He's the one I saw first, so we're gonna talk about him first. Uh, oh, his yeah. palette, Purple Lust. I'm gonna share my screen because there are pictures on Trend Mood. Well, of the purple highlighter, that doesn't have, that does not help us. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Bong, got it. So let me go ahead and share my screen so we can look at it. And ooh, and ah, there is a picture of the bloodlust. That is the unicarton. The, yeah. there, he came out with several glosses, um, some lip, two brand new liquid lips. They'll be sold in a bundle. And then the Extreme Frost highlighter and some merch. So... If we want to look at the inside, we'll get to the rest of this later on, on Trend Mood. We're going to see what's hot. This is what the palette looks like. How do you feel as this being his interpretation of a purple palette? Go. I am shook. Like, did you, I don't know if you, you probably saw it because I know you, but I don't know if anyone of our viewers did, but his face beat. While doing this palette, because when I was looking oh, at the palette, sweet palette, Jesus! Right, I was looking at it because he uses all his stuff when he does his launches. So I was looking at the palette and I was like, not quite whelmed with it. But when I saw it on his face, I was shook. Like I was shook. Like I was looking at that and I was like, oh my gosh, those colors um that that came in like the crown um what did, i can't read the names from like the screenshot but like the middle row the third one in from the left um not the left the right i'm sorry yep that one was amazing and the way he blended it out with the red and everything how those colors actually end up working together is just so phenomenal. I was looking at it and I I just, I fell in love. I'm totally obsessed. The packaging is amazing. And the other things that he actually took some time to kind of perfect, because Jeffree Star listens to his customers. He actually perfected the packaging because of some of the things that he went out with and he claimed, and he clones it. Like if something's wrong with it, he owns it and he makes it right. His customer service is, beyond like par like it is way up there and he took the packaging for mailing and added extra security so your palettes aren't going to break on delivery right that is huge for me i've gotten palettes before they got delivered i ordered them from different places like ulta sephora sometimes even those monthly subscription boxes that we get and you get a broken palette, and especially if it's one that you paid so much for, and one that you were just so excited off, it just sucks. But when I saw that one, I was like, oh my god, I just, I, that's made in, like, my win, one of my wish lists. This definitely is. And the merch, those bomber jackets that he came out with. Listen, listen. 
Oh, oh my God. God. The highlighter, that highlighter. The highlighter is Gorgina. Mm -hmm. I would love to purchase this, but the way my checking account is set up, I cannot afford a $50 highlighter. I just can't. I, can't. I want it. You know, I, I want it. But I can't. There is, yeah. The one thing I will say about this highlighter, there is no formula out there like this at all whatsoever. The way it has like the shimmer and the color reflections into it, when you put it on, like if you watch the video, guys, seriously, once he puts it on, that shift, I've never. Oh seen my God. You know, this shift reminds me of, it reminds me of that little palette that I got in my. Uh, am I wearing it today? I'm wearing it today. Jesus Christ, I'm so slow. It kind of, the shift in it kind of reminds me of the eyeshadow that I'm wearing currently today, where it looks in the, in the pan, it looks like a purpley, it shifts purpley blue, kind mm -hmm. of. And that's the same thing that this, this eyeshadow does. And that's the same kind of effect that I got when he rubbed it on his body. It went from like a pale blue to a lavender purple shift. It's very, very mm -hmm. pretty. It's very pretty. I was like, oh, I yeah. would love to be that extra for no apparent reason just and to have what? it. <laughs> right. I mean, like that definitely would have to be like, a, you know, I want to give card type of thing to get those. The lip glosses definitely bomb. We have a lot of like his trademark colors in there, but the two to the far left, are the new the new ones? Oh, this one, I Zoe. this is the one. Zoe, she made it. She made it. Oh, welcome, welcome to welcome, to, welcome to our situation, honey. We didn't know if he was gonna make an appearance, boo. Yeah, the star is right there. <laughs> um, and I don't know like how any of our viewers and like our like community here do, but the other merch that Jeffrey Star does that I've never seen anyone else does. If you're into it, he also comes out with grinders. You know, you can use them, of course, for cannabis, but one other thing you can use it for, broken palettes, broken highlighters, put it in the grinder, come it out, comes into a powder, put it back into the compact, boom, just like brand new. Exactly. So mm -hmm. we are here for this palette release. Um, I guess I'll be, this will be my first year. I listen, I am still stuck between whether I, I should buy the purple palette first or get the blue blood. The only Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette that I have is the mini controversy, which is over there. And this would be my full, my first full blown big palette. Big, big palette. And I am still stuck between blue blood and this purple situation. But, you know, neither here nor there, we will get back into that. So, Jacqueline Hill also is launching her collab with Morphe. This is her essential palette number two. Mm -hmm. um, it will be $39. It is 35 shades. Um Matte shimmers and press glitters. Um, there's also a brush set that's like ninety nine dollars. Um, you can use code Trend Mood to get ten percent off. Code Jack Attack to get ten percent off. Code James to get ten percent off. Pick a name. Probably code Nikki. You can get ten percent off. J Star, P Star, anybody Star. You can get ten percent off because that's how Morphe rolls. So Patrick Starfish. I'm Patrick Starfish. Put it in there and see what happens. Uh, um, Why not? <laughs> how are you? How are you responding to? Let me see if I can get a better picture because I don't necessarily because I feel like the palette is cut off. In yeah, this picture. Off. Hold on. Let me get some. Can I get an image? Nope, that's the old one. Okay, this is her holding both of them up together. That's both of them side by side. Awesome. Now. I'm just going to, 
Like I feel like I need both of them. Like that's that's how the feel that's the feeling that it's giving me. It's giving me I need both of them um uh, for the bottom two rows on each palette alone. Like this whole section would be the reason why I get both of them. Right. It's like almost a want to mix and match. However, one of those oranges really looks amazing to me too. Um, I definitely am feeling a lot more color in my life like this year. Um, and I am loving the pinks. The pinks right. are definitely coming out really bright, really vibrant. And it's a formula that a lot of people are really familiar with, like in the makeup industry. Um, I'm actually wearing the, a lot of the same formula here because it's with Morphe. I'm wearing the um, like a gem palette, which right now I'm totally obsessed with. Okay. And then it, I mean, like it still stays on. I didn't put in any type of eyeshadow primer in. And of course, as you guys know, like this computer stuff, cause it's late at night. Um, my quality on this one isn't that great, but if you follow on the Instagram, you can see the pictures. It's actually really vibrant. It's very, you know, textured, it's blendable, it's buildable. It's like a really good formula for that. And you don't have that crazy fallout that you get with some other brands. And oh, hello, Zoe's back. Um, <laughs> so I am honestly, I am excited about it. And it is, you know, like marketing genius, having those two different type of tones to it. We get that bright um, palette, and then you also have that cool tone palette, which is a, oh, oh pets. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's definitely awesome. I am loving it, but I'm not as loving it as much as the Jeffy Star one. Okay. So if you had to make a decision, you would just save your money and get the Jeffree Star one on... For sure. Absolutely, because you get a lot of the same type of colors for it. Uh, it just looks like the ones in Jeffree Star seem a little bit more vibrant to me. However, the pots in Jaclyn Hills are going to be bigger. You are going to get like bigger. You are going to get more product for it. So it all depends on what one you want to kind of go with. They're really kind of equal, to be fair. You can get more product out of the Jaclyn Hill with Morphe. Um, or you can get like a little bit more of a color variation, mixing the cool and the warm tones with Jeffrey. Listen, there's you have a cat. Mm hmm. Who is totally obsessed with me? You have a baby. Oh, we're feeling better. Yes. Okay. Bye, Scooter. Say bye bye. Bye, Scooter. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to turn this into a mukbang. <laughs> now, have you heard of the Trend Mood Box? This is going to begin our discussion of subscription boxes. I have not heard of this one. You have one on me, Ebby. Do you dish? Okay, so <laughs> it says it's available now. Link bio trend mood box. Okay, so you know, trend mood is the where I go to be figure out where all the new launches are, what's happening. Mm -hmm. It says it's opening soon, it's already sold out. God, <laughs> uh, why are you okay, so I'm gonna go back to the picture of what's in the box because clearly not getting it because it's sold out already. Um, in this month's box are two of the new Juvia's oh. Place palettes. I, I have, I have the berries. I, the violets one I already I'm gonna get, but I have I have this one. She's I want that. She's absolutely. Oh, it's only thirteen bucks. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, how are you doing this to me, Abby? It's sold out, and I want it. Right. There is looks like all kinds of elf things and Juvia's Place palettes and both sepia stuff. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so includes the good molecules, the caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches. Um Bosica vitamin C with caviar like booster serum. Oh, and vitamin B12 hydration booster serum. Mm. Oh, recipe the watermelon glow lip pop for two of the Juvia's Place palettes, the berries and the violets, 
Elf Cosmetics, three putty primers, the poreless putty primer, the luminous putty primer, and the matte, all three. Jesus Christ. Uh, you guys get from please don't forget to early. Did you get yours? No, I did not get mine. This came out earlier today. It's already sold out. Mm. I'm How much? Are I think the box is like uh forty two dollars. The the box is, and you get one two. There's three of the one two three, four five six seven eight nine ten. 10 different things. <sighs> I've been trying to get this freaking box for the last, and it comes out, it comes out sporadically. It's not like BoxyCharm or Ipsy where it comes out every month and you know when it's coming out. It's random. You have to be paying attention, which clearly I was not. And you have to be dead on it as soon as it comes available because it's going to sell out immediately because they have such great stuff in their box. Yeah. I'm angry. Have you tried have you I've been considering this because okay. I'm equally obsessed with perfume. Scentbird, I used to get them all the time. I love them. And yeah. I, I probably need to redo my subscription. <laughs> probably. Listen. I need a new. What's the difference between this? Because it looks like it's a 30 day generous supply, which is 0.27 ounces for a scent bird. Um, and that's one cent per month. And then you get the premium. Oh, that's to the higher end stuff. And that's going to be me. <laughs> because I love. I, and, and I don't do this on purpose. I don't buy it just because it's name brand. It just happens to be like a lot of the ones that I like end up being the higher end, like Issa Laurent, Nest, you know, Coco Chanel. But I mean, like that's also still not a bad deal because normally if you get like Issa Laurent and you get like a bottle of it, it that's 80 bucks right there. So I'm just saying it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is. Um, I don't know. But here's the thing. I'm very upset. <laughs> okay, so I guess this week's uh, is subscription boxes. Mm -hmm. I am yeah. I'm a big fan of subscription services. Um, clearly, I have subscriptions to Lashy Box. That's on the way. It'll probably be here by Saturday. My boxy charm should be here tomorrow. Um, I haven't gotten a confirmation on when my Ipsy box will be shipped. It's always like toward the middle of what is the middle of the month? Okay, I'm on. Um, then there is um, there is the Try Beauty box. There is Morphe brushes has a uh, um, a subscription. I know there is subscriptions to shoes. I have just Fab. I need to pick a pair of shoes for this month to get shipped to my house. Um, there's the Adore Me, that's the lingerie box. I think Savage X Fenty has like a VIP program, which is like a subscription service, like Adore Me. Like you pay like $20 a month and they send you several different things and then you see what you like and whatever you keep, they charge you the difference for. And so, wow, my TV is schizophrenic. Uh, <laughs> like... You tell me if you could only pick. There's Fat Fit Fun. I forgot about them. Uh, first, in general, how do you feel about subscription boxes? I am obsessed. I mean, you get so much out of them. If you take a look at the one I did earlier on our channel today, my unboxing from my other boxy charm, that one serum is $100. Right. That's I awesome. spent 24. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's just, you get, like, it depends on the subscription service. I wasn't too fan of, like, Ipsy, but it's just because I didn't see too much of the value in it. I did get a lot of stuff in there, and I was able to try a lot of brands I've never heard of before, which is really cool. But at the same time, I also, like, if I like it, I want to get more of it, and I want to feel like I'm getting a little bit more of my money's worth. 
it's great for a person that just wants to try a little so they don't feel like they have anything to waste. <laughs> uh, and they have like a small little amount to try like sampler sizes. You do get cute bags every month. And also Michelle Vaughn, who's one of my favorite anyways, she runs it. And I do absolutely adore her. Like one of her looks that she did one year for Halloween as Robin Hood, not, not Robin Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, was amazing. It was so ethereal looking. It was on point. She is crazy talented. Um, I do like the Sephora one. Sephora is great. You do get some like larger sample sizes, but you also get some smaller sample sizes. So you get a little bit of variety. Um, and I think like their quizzes and stuff really matches up for what you're looking for, which is cool, but you don't get nearly as many palettes. And right now I'm like really obsessed with palettes. So BoxyCharm is really kind of like where I'm going for with this one. And I'm loving my BoxyCharm so far. So far so good, and I'm really liking that one. I don't do too much of them um, as of right now, but that's mostly budget stuff because I got four teenage boys. I go through food like crazy. It's ridiculous. Like the amount of stuff is just like, it's mind blowing. Um, so that is really, really cool. But I love the fact that there's no obligation with any of these. You can try things that you never would think to try before. You can find things that you never heard of before. You can get things that you've been wanting at a crazy discounted rate. So it just seems like it's a win-win for a lot of people. Um, the only thing is like sometimes with these that, that we've talked about, and Evie and I talked about this like all day today, it's like you never know exactly what you're gonna get in some of those boxes, which is kind of exciting though, because it's always like a surprise. And the best part about it, with subscription stuff, you're coming home from a day that just absolutely sucks. Like totally is awful you have makeup at the house and how does that not make your day better exactly that's all i'm saying um, your gift, yes <laughs> i mean come on oh oh okay hold on i'm sorry what's in let's get the product huh Okay, I'm sorry. I got distracted by the Tribe Beauty Box. Um, now, I am a big proponent of... I'm trying not to spend no money right now. Uh, stop clicking on things. I am a big proponent of beauty boxes. It is how I got, I want to say, at least 75 to 80% of the makeup that I currently own. Outside of just, oh, this palette is on sale. Let me go grab this. Oh, foundation, I need that. Like the setting powder, the setting sprays that I currently am using, both one came in an Ipsy, one came in a Boxy Charm. Um, like I, at one point, I had a subscription to Morphe brushes, and for twenty dollars, they would send me five brushes every month, which is a very good deal. Mm -hmm. Um. Like I have like three different setting powders, translucent powders. Um, all of them came either in a boxy charm or, or an Ipsy box. Like you, it's a good way for you to get to try new products and not spend an arm and a leg that some of these products cost. Like this highlighter, this is from Becca Cosmetics. This is Champagne Pop. I think it's like $25, $30 maybe. Oh, easy. That mm -hmm. was the cost of the whole box that they came in. And it came with five different other full-size products. So that is always my suggestion when people ask me, you know, oh, I want to be able to uh, get makeup and I want to get into makeup, but I don't have a lot of money that I can spend. That is always my first go to. Either you start your practice makeup with less expensive products, go to e.l.f., go to Wet n Wild. Their quality has gone up over the years. So even though. It's, years. Yes. So it's not as expensive but it's still good product. And I suggest mm -hmm. getting a subscription. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I promote getting a subscription box. You pick whichever subscription box suits your needs the best. 
of each, the two main subscription services, Ipsy and BoxyCharm, have different levels um, depending mm -hmm. on what you can afford at that particular time. If you need to skip a month, you can, in Ipsy, you can actually go in and be like, I like you can't afford it this month. Can I stop? I'll pause it for this month and then we re pick it back up. Yeah. There's so and many. It too. Absolutely. There's so many different options. Like Ipsy has a $10 bag and a $25 bag and a $50 bag. BoxyCharm has a $25 box, a $35 box. And once every three months, it's a 50, the box is 50 bucks. So it just depends on what it is that you are looking for what you can't afford, what suits your needs the best that you can do. Or you could be like me and be mm -hmm. a subscription box whore and you like everything. <laughs> everything. Opulence. You own everything. <laughs> like you can you can have that type of stuff. And it does also introduces you to brands that you wouldn't say you would normally come in contact with it yeah. absolutely um will introduce you to different brands that you wouldn't normally like um violet voss i got this in a i want to say this was in an ipsy they sent they gave me a fun size palette their frozen sorbet fun size palette this I is love her. Right. This is still a good amount of product, even for a fun size palette. And it's the Violet Voss formula. So you still you get still get a chance to experience Violet Voss without having to pay the Violet Voss price. Um, oh, and also talking about like those mini palettes, Ebby, depending on the formula, like if there's no fallout, you're still you're getting so much product. Like Violet Voss, you're not going to get that type of fallout that you would like in a Lorac palette and some Anastasia palettes. Um, and the pigment is absolutely great. So like even if you get like those mini things, like the Jeffree Star mini palette, there's no fallout. That's still a lot of product. So I mean, like don't be turned off just by mini palettes. I know a lot of people have like a stigma on them. Right. Don't do it. You can definitely get like a lot of really great stuff on that. And I mean, if I was there, also looking for things that are going to be discounted. If you're looking for not just like monthly subscription boxes, there's other stores you can get name brand quality grade A stuff at a huge discount just because of like a marketing glitch. Places like um, TG Max, absolutely, as an example. Absolutely. Marshalls. You can go in there and get perfumes. Like I've gotten um, my Jimmy Choo perfume that I wear obsessively, um, Bloom, which is normally over $100. And I got it for $25. That's all I'm saying. 25. So uh, there is tons of ways to be frugal, which is absolutely amazing. And I love it. And like the thing I got my um, thing, if you watched the video I did earlier today, um, well, actually, it would be yesterday by the time you guys see this. But um, <laughs> so the hairspray stuff that I was talking about, not the hairspray, but like that uh, gel that I got in there, that like shine gel, I wore that today. So I was really excited to try it. I couldn't wait. I put it in my hair and I got tons of compliments. When people walk by, they'll be like, what smells so good? I'm like, I don't know. And then someone put their head in my, well, their face in my hair. And they're like, oh, it's your hair. It smells amazing. And I'm like, Oh, well, thanks. You know, that's just me. No <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Naturally, I just, I smell good. That's just. I just thing. radiate awesomeness. <laughs> I, but no, it was totally awesome. And I was like, that is great. And I tried that face stuff. That's a hundred dollars. So in a couple of weeks, we'll go back at it and revisit and see how the elasticity settles. We'll do stuff like that. Um, but also, like, I was looking at a lot of our feeds that we had, Evie, and we have, like, some really talented people that, like, kind of follow us with their makeup stuff, like Mama of Six. Like, her makeup skill, hey, girl, by the way, um, you slay. Like, you kill me. Like, I love your looks. It is amazing. And I I'm totally here for it. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. 
I too am a fan of Mama Six, and she happens to be a mod of ours on this channel and on my other mm -hmm. channel. We stand. Sis mm -hmm. does, and she does like more than one look in a day. And I'll she be like, does. She, and I'll be I like, had, Sis, oh I, my God. I like, I just barely have the energy to do the one look and get that done without screwing it up and starting over in the middle of my live. And then my hour live goes into two mm -hmm. hours because I had to start again. Mm -hmm. Happened a couple of times last week, but you know, we, yeah. we're gonna move, we're gonna move forward. Uh, uh, Oh, I had something to tell you guys, and you guys are going to laugh. So my mom loves our show. She's obsessed with you, Abby, by the way. She oh. thinks you're awesome. Uh, but she gave her show another name. <laughs> oh, God. What did she name us? It's totally cute, though. It really is. Um, Tickles, Pickles, and Pinks. <laughs> and that was, like, oh, awful. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She goes, right. Tickles, Pickles, and Pinks. What is that? Tickles, name? Pickles, and Pinks. Oh, yes. Wow. Mom, and I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, we're just cute. I cannot. I listen. Listen. <laughs> if that's what mommy wants to call us, then that is what so, we'll go by. Listen, it's whatever she says it is. <laughs> this junction. Exactly. Anyway. Feeling that great tonight, so um, she's going through some stuff, but that's you know whatever um, personal things. But yeah, it's just, I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh, just I'm awesome. digging it. Tickles, pickles, I'm pickles. digging it. Right. We'll make, this, we'll make it a slogan or something. <laughs> right. Or like for our first anniversary tea, it'll be called Tickles, Pickles, and Pink or something, and that'll be like our theme. Mm -hmm. We'll have like feathers, pink feathers, and things. The Tickles, Pickles, and Pinks convention <laughs> for some yeah, I don't know about the pickles because me and pickles don't get along, but you know, but you'll have some off to the side. You know, I'm not too, I'm not too mad at pick. Overall, I'm not a pickle fan, but I mean, if you're not from the Carolinas, you guys are not going to know this, but there's this restaurant um, that was on dine-ins and drive-ins or whatever it is, you know, and it wins awards, but um, they got bought out. So I think it's Pinkies now. It used to be the uh -huh. diamond. They're those fried pickles, girl. Okay. Those fried pickles, I rocks with those. I rocks with the fried pickles from there. Anywhere else, I kind of, you know, take it and leave it. But fried pickles, I'm down for it. Totally I, down. Why are we talking about food on a makeup channel? I know <laughs> because we're also fluffy. It's it a part of that. Like, I don't under get into it. <laughs> uh, right. There's a reason we have to contour because our faces are fat because we eat a lot. I don't mm -hmm. see how it all circles back around. See, you see how it all is exactly. <laughs> Chatted, fluffy, fried pickles, tickles, pickles, and fried pan. No, that's not right. Tickles, <laughs> tickles, fried pickles, and pinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm gonna leave you for. I'm gonna leave all the fried pickles for you. That's that's all. That's all your situation and circumstance. Me and pickles are not oh, friends. Me and pickles have never been friends. So then you'll get all the tickles. Well, I, well. <laughs> <laughs> something very inappropriate danced across my mind, and I'm just gonna slide right past it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, viewers, oh, if you can hear the conversations we have before we go live. <laughs> Right. Listen, listen, family. We just listen. Listen. Oh, um, mm -hmm. not any of that. Hold on. My computer is acting crazy. Wait a minute. Oops. Oops. You did it again. I did it again. You played with my heart. <sighs> Got my lost in the game. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my life together. I promise um like okay hold on i'm trying to get to oh ooh. okay so hold on hold, hold on hold on so ebby we haven't done a show <gasps> i'll ask you in a second this okay this is new at alta the new additions to the Board in This Way family by Two Faced Complexion. One highlighting palette. Illuminating pressed soft glitter. The neutral nudes eyeshadow palette. 
Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you ever look at makeup and then like someone's face comes to your mind and I'm like, I could slay you with this product so good? No, I'm so selfish. I normally am thinking, God, what can I do to my face? I do both. I hardcore because you actually have the ability to be able to duplicate on someone else's face. I have yet to come up with that ability to be able to duplicate on someone else's face. That is a very interesting palette. I've never seen that before. Yep, that one. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a palette designed like that and I'm interested. I've never, who is this? Let's see, this is by Sugar Pill. Never a heard of Sugar Pill. Collection. This is the pink edition. I see more blues and purples, but cool. It right a totally unique pill shaped palette with the mirror, perfect dose, acute and functional. It is five mattes, four metallics, and one blush. This big pink thing is a blush. I'm assuming. Okay, so is that the why it's called the pink palette? I don't, I don't believe understand. So. I, I, I believe that's palette. why. I believe so. I it doesn't, when it's out, and it's forty two bucks. For. This is something I would want to see. This is another reason to get like a subscription service to get things like this. Like I'm interested in this, but for $42, I don't know how the fallout is. I don't know what the formula is like. I don't know how it is. So getting things like this is perfect. I would, um, have, to see it in person. Like it. I would have to see it in person, swatch it in person, like go into Ulta. Ooh, what's that Mac? This is um, yeah. more fix plus coming your way the fix plus magic radiance by mac all day hydrating spray with vitamin soon coming soon and can we talk about those nails in that shot uh yeah that is totally cute it is so i i'm interested i'm definitely interested but that picture of jacqueline hill Mm -hmm. What that one. orange? Yep, that's that orange I was talking about. Like, I'm totally vibing that orange. I'm not normally an orange fan. I. Right, but if it's done right, an orange can be yeah. absolutely gorgeous. It can definitely be. I mean, like, look at it. It's just beautiful. Now, Kylie's skin. I've been seeing lots of great reviews on that. Ooh. I absolutely love her lip formulas. Huge fan of the lip kits. I don't have anything else, but I hear so much stuff about that Kylie skin. And I get discounts and stuff like hers from all the time. Like all you mm -hmm. have to do when you're looking at her Instagram is just swipe up and click on it. And it will tell you like all discount codes and stuff. So if you are a fan of hers, and if you do like that and you don't know about this yet, totally do it because you get so many discounts on it which is absolutely amazing and then on top of that um you can get like all the reviews you can see discounts things coming soon and all you have to do is swipe up and it automatically puts you into giveaways oh we like totally giveaway. love a good giveaway oh i see the pigs Are, are, are they not pigs? What are those things? I, I don't know. Let's click on it and find out. They're from Clinique. Okay. Uh, they're cheek pops. Keiko and Friends times Clinique. I'm a suit. Oh, available now in Asia. Okay. Well, we're just, we're not, we're not there. We're not in Asia. We're not in Asia. Now, Clinique, I will also say this. You have absolutely sensitive skin, that is a really great brand for you. If you don't wear a lot of makeup, but you want to wear makeup and you haven't been able to find anything that works, obviously I'm not like, you know, an esthetician or a doctor or anything like that. But I will tell you like all my friends and my relatives that have very sensitive skin, I can have sensitive skin. That stuff will definitely, you would stand a better chance with to try. And I would definitely try to get a sample first, go to a beauty counter, 
put in like a thing for like a reservation to be made up by a makeup artist. And then you can try that and see how your skin reacts to it and how it works. Before Absolutely. You buy. Um, that way you can kind of see what it does. If you want to learn how to do makeup, I can, if you put a request, I'll definitely do more lives if you guys want me to do more lives for it. I know like the quality of my camera's kind of stinks. I'm working on that. Um, but I'll definitely do that. The other thing is, if you are in the Carolina areas, you can definitely book with me or Eb, Um, and I can have Eb come with her. We can hang out with you. We love hanging out with people. So no big deal there. And I can show you also some tricks there too. But places like Ulta and Sephora, they'll do half your face and show you how to do it. You can buy the products and do the other half there, um, which is awesome. So if you're learning to do those type of things, let us know. Uh, we can definitely point you in the right direction. If you want us to help you ourselves, we're here. Absolutely. We are going to be revving up towards. So uh, our giveaway is now in official effect. There will be two, there will be an eyeshadow palette, um, a face product, and I'm going to get a brush set. Um, and that is going to be our first giveaway. Um, let's go into the directions for the giveaway while I'm thinking about it. No, I'm not distracted by the sugar pill cute packaging. Um, so for the giveaway, um, you have to be subscribed to both channels, Ebby Reviews and Tatted and Fluffy. You must follow all three all three IG um, accounts. Thank you, because clearly my mind is like, who, huh? who? Huh? Yeah, uh, remember guys, we're doing three. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that is into the blush, which is our lovely Kristen. You follow my main is Abby Review, Abby underscore reviews, and then the podcast. Um, I Instagram account, Tatted and Fluffy. When you have done all of those things, you make sure you're subscribed to both of us. Just both of us. Subscribe to all three Instagram channels and both YouTube channels. Come back to this podcast feed on YouTube and type done. And you mm -hmm. will be entered into the giveaway for this month. I will be picking a winner on the 29th of February. I will be ordering everything on what's next? The 21st. I'll be ordering the eyeshadow palette and the brush set. I already have the face product here. So, and then um, I'll show you what is the, the what it'll be. Right? So we're super, we're super, super duper, duper, duper excited. Um, this is our first giveaway. Can there will be announcements made on both of our Facebook pages? Do the, the Tatted and Fluffy podcast Instagram. I will do a post tomorrow when I uh, say that the podcast is up. Um, there is no purchase required. It is for the United States only at this time because I don't know about international shipping or how that works. Um, Please be at least 18 or have your parents' permission. Once you say that you are done, in your comment with that you're done, that you followed all of us, all of our channel situations, then we are going to ask um, that you leave like your Instagram handle um, so that once we pick a winner, I can DM you to get in contact with you to see how I can ship your prize to you. Mm -hmm. I think that's so excited. Hide your kids, hide your wife. We have a whole ass giveaway on our channel. Yeah. We're moving up in the okay. We're moving up in the world. We're trying to, you know, move into this atmosphere and see what's happening, what's popping. I'm going to share my screen one more time because I need you to see this. I don't know who this is. I don't know what's happening. I saw uh, blue. Can and I marry us? This is celebrating Valentine's with Vivid Electric Colors. The Wired Collection by Urban Decay includes the Wired Palette, Press Pigment Palette. That's $39 for 10 shades. See, this is so easy. 
If pressed pigments in shockingly bright yet ultra blendable shades for face, eye, and body. There's 24 7 glide on eye pencils, $22 amped jolt shot Vigavit 3 wire transforming liner, double ended eyeliner, and top coat. I love it. How much is all that? Well, the palette itself is $39. The okay. Glide on eye pencils are 22, which I think are these. Right. The double ended eyeliner and top coat are 22, which I think are uh -huh. those. And then the lip tints down here are 22. And this is all Urban Decay. I will say with Urban Decay, I have three or four palettes from them. Upset. Man, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Because you know I love a vivid pop of color amongst all the can I just oh, say that's pretty. Wait, 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 hold on. I want I want this mirror. Can I just say that? Was, okay, I'm sorry. I had I had the thing. Which which Jeffrey, is the... sorry, you please be our friend. Right. Um anyway, the stormy palette I'm really interested in too. Um and I like like the different colors that comes in here. They all go very well together. Like when you look at it, it's very pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. It's a always very a clear, really defined well. color story. Definitely. And she does always have a really good formula. I mean, I, I have not tried any reason, colleague, anything. I really try to find a reason not to like her, but because she's like a beautiful 22 year old billionaire. But I really can't be mad at her. She's she's definitely has an eye for this stuff, and it's amazing. I really love the quality of the products and stuff. I haven't tried the skincare, but I'm definitely here for the Stormy palette. And plus, Stormy is really freaking cute. She's so cute. She's adorable. I think mm -hmm. I will try. Listen, listen. She's not on my. I don't even remember. I gotta go back and look at our podcast and remember what my list of brands to try this year are. Um, because I want and need things. The way they are listing the price on this, when I'm looking at it, it looks like the lip liner is one hundred and twenty-four dollars, and it's like one is this one, and two it is says this one. uh the matte liquid lipstick plus lip liner is twelve dollars. It's just like the way they wrote no, everything it says out. I know. Well, no, it isn't. Because look, it has one mini eyeshadow palette is $28. Two dot press blush powder is $18. Because I was looking at that and I know like the price of her stuff offhand roughly. And okay, so they just didn't put space in. Okay, I was just saying, yeah, oh, no, it says 124 There's no space there. Uh, so what was she doing? Don't the, the mini <laughs> the mini uh, high gloss collection is $36. Yeah, because the bundle is one hundred and eight. Like I would grab the, I would get the whole bundle. I would get all of it. Right, she's definitely awesome with that. Um, also, I want to show you guys like this new highlighter. I okay. put this highlight. Look at this. Look at my nose. Look at like even in this camera quality, you can still see my highlighter. I got this Mac highlighter. I don't have it with me. Um, let me let me pull it up here. And it stayed on all day. And I used that primer that I had um, and that I got in that box that you guys will be able to see from the video from the other one. But it is, where is that one I got? Because it's in a square case. Uh, it's taking me forever to find it because it's not coming up. But I love their loose pigments. But it's in this really pretty pink shade because I have like a lot of rosy undertones and whatnot. Um, Google, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Let's see. That's that mineralized blush. That's not what I want. Dazzle pink highlighter. I believe this is it, and it's just not. In the same thing. It seems like it's a little bit of a different color here um, than what I know what I have in mine. I'm gonna have to take a picture and post it on my Instagram for you guys. Um, but let's see here. This is it. 
Ooh. but it's square. And that's what I'm wearing and it's still on. Highlighter tends to always kind of blend out and fall out even when you use a setting spray sometimes, depending right. on the setting spray. So this one, the fact that it still has that, I'm shook. Right now, this is my favorite and this is gonna be my go-to. Like I had it in a square, where did I get it? I got it at Ulta. So let's try going to Ulta and see if we can find it there just to make sure we're looking at the right one. I try and stay out of Ulta because that's when I get in trouble is when I'm actually inside the store, you know. Touching. Oh, me too. And, oh, this palette right here, because we all know I'm a huge fan of MAC. Not MAC, Morphe right here. That icy Morphe. palette. Yes. I am wanting it. And what do you think of the hair, Ebby? I changed it. Is it less gray? What's happening? It is less gray. It's coming out, and they haven't seen this yet since I got everything done. But it was like a little bit more gray. It's kind of washing out um, green, but that makes sense. And of course, you know, cut it. And here we go. So highlighters. Come on, computer. It's thinking about it. <laughs> Can I filter? And I want, you know what I think is actually Morphe that I got? Yeah, it is Morphe. Hold on. <laughs> See, this is how long of a day it is, my mind. Uh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Um, so it is Morphe and there we go. Here it is. So it does come in different shades. This is the one that I have, like an iridescent pink mm -hmm. and a little does definitely go a long way. And of course the pictures aren't going to really load load because you know, my issues like that. But it is awesome. It comes out really nice. Like when I first like do the pictures, if you look on the Instagram guys, you'll be able to just definitely see a little bit more um, of the picture in there, of the highlight that's on there, because it is like the way it hits, it gives you that soft glow, which is like absolutely perfect. Like, here is one of the pictures so you guys can see a little bit more. Let me get my camera up here and stop streaming. Um, oh, I got my BoxyCharm still up. I love BoxyCharm. Okay. So on one of these, so you can actually kind of see maybe a little bit better. Maybe the highlight. You see that lighter part of the cheekbone, and you can actually see what my makeup actually looks like. <laughs> this is what my makeup looks like. It still looks like that. It's just this camera quality. It's sucky. But that highlight look at how it hits it's gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous it gives you that light iridescent glow it's not overpowering it's not too too much you can still see it here just because of lighting and all the stuff in here is crazy but oh like see, wait nope here we go <laughs> nope, here we go right there correct <laughs> oh that is awesome it is phenomenal we love a good highlighter. I have a holy, listen, I have a holy grail that I use damn near every day. I have some on now. I don't know if you can really see it because I'm wearing glasses. Like the tip of my nose is still growing. Like, yeah, I see like that in there. <gasps> Ooh, gold. It's a, yeah, it's, it's always like a golden shimmer. It's just like there's a deeper gold in my Morphe highlighting palette. Mm -hmm. That is fast becoming a it's fast becoming a favorite. This deep gold right here. Ooh. She is fast becoming a very, very big favorite of mine. Um yes. listen. So we are definitely thinking that subscription boxes are worth the hype. They're worth the money. 
They're worth your time. If you are trying to get introduced to new products, that new brands that maybe you wouldn't have heard of on a normal day-to-day -day basis. If you're trying to build up your makeup collection, subscription boxes are definitely the way to go. We are excited mm -hmm. about the new beauty launches um, for Jeffree Star and Jacqueline oh. Hill. We can't wait. Um, we are excited about our giveaway. Yay! We're giving stuff away. Oh, I'm so excited. We're giving stuff away. Oh, I still do not have that. My mom hates that. But, <laughs> but we, I get so excited. Listen, if we are excited. We are doing big things. Um, this is just the beginning. There'll be more giveaways throughout the year heading towards our very first anniversary where we are going to do our very first meet and greet. We're going to do, it's going to be big. We'll let out more as we get plan, as we get closer and more plans get solidified, solidified, solidified. That's not a word. Solidified is what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> But as we get more solidified plans as to what we actually want to do for our first anniversary and how that's going to look, mm -hmm. our very first meet and greet so y'all can come and talk to us. It's, I think it's just probably, in my head, it's a makeup tea party where, mm -hmm. you know, there are gift bags with makeup in it, that kind of thing. And there's we sit and have tea and talk mm -hmm. about makeup things and we just have, do a meet and greet and we talk to whoever wants to come and meet and greet us at the time. But all of those things are coming in the future and we are excited. We are coming up on our hour. So mm -hmm. we are going to go ahead and shut it down. Do you have any party words for us? I think I feel loopy. <laughs> I love you so much, Emmy. Um, no, I mean, like, honestly, like, yeah, subscription services, building it up, getting bored with your makeup routine, try something new. Right. Um, the thing I will say also too, like one thing, um, but I actually had a conversation about too, and I don't know if Zoe's going to our meet and greet because she's like, I'm being crazy right now. Um, but <laughs> so I had something kind of say, said to me the other day, they, they, uh, it was a person at work. And they came up to me. They're like, why do you wear so much makeup? Who are you trying to impress? Me, bitch. What you mean? <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. That's exactly what I said word for word. <laughs> I was like, what the, what the f are you talking about? I'm like, talking no, about? This, is, this is me. This is like what I do. This is my art. This is what I love. Oh, you mad because I'm fine? Like, better. I don't understand. Like, I don't get the, see, this is why right. I like work from home. Because I don't have this. I don't have to do all that. I can slather all this fucking makeup on my face, and don't nobody have to see me but me, and I'm okay with that. Don't do that. First of all, this no. is, okay. Let me let, let me go here because for the last couple minutes, this is going to be Abby's rant. Here's another thing. <laughs> Listen up, people mm -hmm. of the world of America, of the whole the these United States and across the world. Do not walk around touching people's hair without their permission. Let me be very clear. I don't care who they are. I don't care who they are. I don't care what their hair looks like. I don't care if you've never seen it before. You do not walk up to a strange person that you do not know and start touching their hair without their permission. That is assault. Stop mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and I have people's personal space. You're rude. Don't even go like, is this yours? It's like, yeah, bitch, I paid for it. Of course it's mine. Regardless if it's on the hood or not, it's mine. <laughs> Say it again. It's mine. This also includes pregnant women's bellies. Do not, because I had a lot of this when I was pregnant. Do not walk up to pregnant women and touch their bellies. Get your evil spirited hands away from me. I don't know you. Ask my permission. Ask my permission before you touch my pregnant belly that is cradling the baby that I, I am trying to grow into a full blown human being so I can push him out into this world. Don't put your hands. Right. Listen, everybody, listen, there is a bubble around me. It's called my personal space. If you invade my personal space without my permission, you may get cussed out and or smacked in your mouth. Don't try. 
listen, try Jesus. Don't try me. Even Zoe's co-signing. She said that too. Right. But no, I mean, like, are you going to go up to like a woman that's not pregnant that you don't know and touch their belly? No. The dumb Why? Why? Listen. No. And people used to do that all the time or something, but like, oh, I'll babysit for you. I don't even know your name. You gonna babysit for who? For who, for where? For what? So I'm just gonna my now. poor defensely baby. I don't know that. I don't know. The hell, what the lifetime story is you talking about? That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. That's not not today, not tomorrow, or next week. Mm hmm No, we are not doing that. That is just not okay. Don't make up. Basically, don't touch pregnant women's bellies. Don't come up to people touching their hair unless you know them. And no, even then, even if you do not. Don't touch my hair unless you ask me. Exactly. Fine. Motherfucker, don't do that. Nope. That's the other way to get your throat punched. That's all I'm saying. Yep, and don't makeup shame. We're not about that, are right. we? We're not, we're not about body shaming. We're not about makeup shaming. We're not about tattoo mm -hmm. shaming. We're not about name shaming. We're not about shaming in any way, form, or fashion. Do you and live your life. Okay. Let me tell you about, did you see that tattoo meme about like tattoos should make you more implorable? That means like employable, not implorable. Right. <laughs> I can right. the pain of a tattoo. I want you to understand how bad this thing hurt when I got it done. Mm -hmm. It felt like he was tattooing my esophagus. <laughs> right. It's weird like where you have like a tattoo, like they're tattooing like right in here, but you feel it way up in here. Right. And you're like, what? But... <laughs> But no, I mean, like you could sit down and get stabbed for like six hours straight. Right. Like, do you want to take a break? No, because if I stop, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you start again. That means I can sit here in this desk for that long and get screamed at and be okay. So tattoos should make you more employable. <laughs> um, not shaming anyone that doesn't have tattoos. I'm not saying that you're not employable. I'm just saying if you can sit through all that type of stuff too. I don't think that people should be judged and say they can't have a job just because they have a tattoo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, my lash is about to run off. <laughs> so. Right. so now that we're finished ranking uh, in the last two minutes, I think the last three, five minutes of every podcast will just be us cussing out somebody. I'll pick somebody every week. It's fine. All right. So <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. Drop down in the comments and tell us what is your favorite subscription box? What is your least favorite subscription box? We want to know. We're taking a poll. Don't forget we are. You have to follow us on both the YouTube channels, Every Reviews and Tatted and Fluffy. All three IG channels, Tatted and Fluffy, Into the Blush, and every underscore reviews come back here to the comments and hit say done and leave uh, a way for us to contact you for this contest mm -hmm. we will keep repeating this next week and the week after uh, until the end of february when the contest will close please like i said like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and we will catch y'all in the next one Bye. Bye. <laughs>